Nothing says Christmas to me like the smell of boiling cow's tongue. <laughs> but seriously, every Christmas I look forward to my grandma's empanadas de lengua, little sweet mincemeat pies made with tongue, as something that really made it the season for me. I didn't know this was weird until like third grade or so. Uh, hi, my name is Susco Saavedra. I am a father and husband, and I am a professional sommelier, which uh, means fancy French word for wine steward, which he just covered with the salting, so I'm kind of redundant now. Um, but I'm not going to talk to you about wine tonight. I'm going to talk to you about a part of the culinary world that we kind of ignore in American culture. I'm going to talk to you about offal. Uh, so all the extra bits of the animal that we generally don't need in Western society. Sorry, should have warned you ahead of time. Some of my slides might be a little off-putting. Sorry about that. It's kind of the way it is. So. The word is awful, not awful. It comes from the term off fall, which traditionally was kind of defined as that which falls off during the butchering process. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we've come up with a lot of tasty words for that. Uh, variety meats, mmm. <laughs> Organ meats, there's, there's a lot of ways to make it sound about as disgusting as it possibly can. But if you've ever seen a video on how hot dogs are made in this country, somehow eating something delicious made from the head of a cow doesn't really sound so disgusting by comparison. The irony is that a lot of our really elegant and expensive foods also fall into this category. Pate, foie gras, uh, sweetbreads. And I think most everybody who's ever eaten a sausage would agree with me that natural casings are way superior to the artificial ones. And those are made from the intestines. I mean, sounds gross, but it's great. When treated properly, these foods can be uh, not only incredibly delicious, but also very nutritious. Beef heart, for example, is a great lean source of protein. It can be grilled, it can be braised, it can be done in a myriad of ways, very high in iron. We've all been told our whole lives that liver is good for you. <laughs> Guess what? They're right. Uh, <laughs> liver is incredibly high in vitamin A, but polar bear liver is so high in vitamin A it actually is toxic. So don't ever eat that if you ever find yourself with the opportunity. <laughs> don't get too well. <laughs> but I digress. Our journey to discover the wonderful world of awful does not unfortunately start in your local everyday mega mart. I dare you to go to the Fry's deli counter and ask them where they keep their beef hearts. Watch them squirm a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Uh, what you really need to do is find out where your local Latino community buys their meats. And trust me, this is Arizona. You have a local Latino community. Yeah. We're pretty much everywhere. But anything that gets lumped into the ethnic market category is going to be a great place to find a plethora of meats you probably can't identify without a little bit of help or research, that sort of thing. Uh, cultures across the world. Uh, have used these foods in their everyday cuisine forever. Uh, you got head, brains, hearts, liver, lungs, intestines, eyeballs, testicles, things that we kind of ignore in this country but, or we treat as carnival attractions. But a simple Google search online will open up a virtual culinary world tour of these foods. Uh, things prepared in an infinite myriad of ways. People have just known forever that they are both delicious and absolutely nutritious. Uh, and I do urge you not to stop at offcuts of meat from animals we already consider food. If anybody wants to sit down and have a serious discussion about sustainable food in this country, that discussion should eventually turn towards eating insects. But that's a topic for a whole other Ignite. <laughs> exactly. I'm ahead of myself. There we go. OK. <laughs> what I want to do is end tonight by sharing with you the recipe that started off my passion for awful. And that is the recipe for my grandma's empanadas de lengua, those little mincemeat pies I was talking about at the beginning. It starts off kind of gross, but trust me, it goes somewhere delicious from here. That's my grandma right there, Grandma Saavedra. Um, you're going to start off by purchasing your cow's tongue. We've already talked about that. And you're going to boil it for about an hour per pound, just so it's not pink. And when you pierce it through the thickest part with a, kni with a knife, it goes through like butter. You're going to take that out, let it rest until it's cool enough to deal with your hands. <laughs> my mom would start off every year by chasing us around with the cow tongue, trying to lick us with it. I gladly carry on that tradition with my kids today. Good times. So yeah. So you're going to let that tongue rest. I know it doesn't look good now, but I promise you, I'm going somewhere with this. You're going to peel that white skin right off. It comes off just like paper, super easy. You're going to cut off any excess fat, dice that up, toss in your food processor, and give it a few whirls until it's nice and creamy. Throw in some toasted pine nuts, uh, a little bit of raisins, a lot of brown sugar, a lot of brown sugar, uh, vanilla, and a can of yams. I don't have any uh, measurements. I was never getting them. It's a handful of this, a scoop of that, till it tastes the way you want it to taste. Still doesn't look good, but I promise you it gets better. You're going to roll out your favorite recipe for pastry dough, or be lazy like me, go to the store, buy pie crust. It's really easy. You're going to, you're going to cut out little circles. You're going to fill that with a dollop of the, of the uh, stuffing, fold it over, pinch it shut, poke little holes for steam. These will explode on you. You're going to wash a little bit of egg wash and bake it till the dough is done. Could not be simpler or more delicious. So awful. It is good for you. It's a great way to discover new cultures, 
and most importantly, it's delicious. Thank you very much.